Students, faculty, alum, and community members continue to call for UVM President Suresh Garamella to step down. This as the school plans to make cuts to academic programs. Local 22's Courtney Kramer live in the studio tonight with more. Lauren, this group, United Against Cuts, says they're expressing a vote of no confidence in Garamella's leadership and say they're calling for an immediate change in administration. All of this is a strategic and blatant corporate tactic initiated by the UVM president. As the University of Vermont proposes cuts to more than 30 majors, including three entire departments, in addition to laying off three senior lecturers, the campus community is fighting back. But for one UVM professor, the fight hasn't come without what she calls threats from top administrators to silence her and other faculty. That I was threatened with the suspension of my UVM email, which would make it impossible for me to do my job in a pandemic. English professor Nancy Welch said this came after she shared the word about a petition calling for Garamella's resignation. Students also expressed concern during a press conference Monday over recent suspension protocol around COVID-19 violations, calling them extreme and unfair. A slap on the wrist for some and a life sentence for others is not an equitable way to run a university discipline system. Rich, affluent students um, can be suspended with little consequence to themselves or their families. But for poor and working class students, uh, being forced to pay back $25,000 and losing your scholarship can alter the course of their entire lives. Another student says she can no longer confidently recommend the university to prospective classmates. I tell these students to look elsewhere if they don't want to live in fear that their programs will be eliminated. I tell them that this is a place that loves to use BIPOC in their marketing materials, but that those students don't matter much outside glossy pictures and award ceremonies. Other complaints include the school's budget practices. Critics say school priorities have taken a back seat, while executive pay has increased. UVM also plans to close its campus children's school, a child care resource at the college. And so far, the petition has garnered nearly 3,000 signatures in support of Garamella's resignation. Live tonight in the studio, Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.